Hi there. We've just published our latest health check on the Irish economy and it's called Embarrassment of Riches. So over the next couple of minutes, I just want to go through some of the key themes of the report and show you some accompanying charts uh, with that. Uh, the first point, you know, how, how is the Irish economy doing? So if you look at the start of the year, we were talking about concerns in relation to inflation pressures on the finances of households and we were talking about international recession risks. It seems, you know, six months into the year that those fears were slightly misplaced. So the performance of the Irish economy in the first half of the year has surpassed expectations and we raised our forecast for modified domestic demand in this health check uh, this morning. In terms of the drivers of that, investment spending has been relatively strong. FDI has held up relatively well, but the key issue really is in relation to what is happening to Irish households. Irish households' balance sheets are in pretty good shape. Net worth is at all-time highs. And particularly, we are seeing this growth in disposable incomes. That growth in disposable incomes is very much led by what is happening in the labour market at the current time. In this first chart, I'll just show you the growth in employment, which has been pretty extraordinary since the reopening of the economy post the COVID shutdowns. So we're back really pretty much on the pre COVID trend in terms of employment levels and we're at record highs at this point in time. On top of that we're seeing wage growth of, of about 4% as well so combining 4% wage growth and employment growth of 4% as well gives you pretty strong growth in disposable incomes despite what is happening in relation to inflation. So that's really been the trigger and the driver of consumer spending and really the driver of this upgrade in our forecasts uh, this morning. The second theme is really the main theme of this particular health check, and that's in relation to the Irish public finances, uh, you know, bringing this name to the report called Embarrassment of Riches. It looks like a budget surplus of over 11 billion now is likely for this year, and that, that amounts to about 4% of uh, gross national income. Uh, compared to other countries, as you can see in this particular chart, Ireland will have the biggest budget surplus in the euro area this year. So the challenge, uh, and it is a um, high quality problem uh, for the Minister for Finance is, what do you do with this money over the next number of years? So there's important choices to make about what to do with that. There has been a sovereign wealth fund suggested over the last number of months. Uh, and also, and we think this is the uh, best uh, use of the, of the funds, a capital stabilization fund to make sure that Ireland continues to spend on important infrastructure over the next number of years and make sure we don't have pro-cyclical spending like we did over the last number of decades. That's an important choice that the government has to make. And that follows on to our final theme that I want to just flag with you in, in this particular video and that's in relation to the housing market. So the government is playing a big role, a bigger role in the housing market now and that's been important in the context of rising interest rates, which really could have threatened housing supply this year. It hasn't, and we're seeing this year that housing commencements in this particular chart have held up better than we would have feared. And it looks likely that output uh, both this year and next year will be similar to last year's level. That still leaves us with a significant deficit relative to the housing requirement of the country but it could have been worse uh, looking at what's happening in the interest rate cycle. So that's the third team. Um, there's a lot more in the report. I'd encourage you to read it, and I'd also encourage you to get in touch with me or my colleagues if you have any questions. Mm -hmm.